Next up, we have the G.I. Joe Pursuit of Cobra Vamp uh, vehicle. Um, I think this is one of the first vehicles we've actually done on a regular show. I, I posted um, a couple videos, like short videos, and, on uh, YouTube. Um, but what's cool about this is, uh, once again, Ross has been the uh, one-stop shop for G.I. Joe stuff, like cheap G.I. Joe stuff. And I got this for eleven ninety nine at a Ross. I, a Ross here in uh, Winchester finally got um, some of these in. And, um, you know, this is a perfect deal. You know, you can't complain about that, you know. So, I don't know. Let's check it out. Um, like the, the box, the box looks great. Um, yeah. Pretty standard Pursuit of Cobra detail. Um, really cool scene on the back, on the sides. Of course, it has some really cool action scenes with like the drivers and driver and everything. And it comes with double clutch, which is the, the same figure that the um, 25th anniversary van came out. I'm not really sure what the difference between regular clutch and double clutch is. Um, <laughs> He's number two, obviously. He's double the clutch. Yeah, I yeah. guess uh, maybe regular clutch got killed. He does with both like hands. So uh, we're going to get this opened up and out of the package and uh, check it out. All right, we got this out of the package and we um, you know, we didn't want double clutch to just be by himself hanging out in there. So we got some uh, boys with them and kind of loaded it up and they're going for a, a night out of um, shooting Cobra and drinking beer and hanging out in the, their vamp. It's so. a boys night. It yeah. is. Yeah. It's it's cool. Two boys. <laughs> All right, um, I'm going to start start everything off. Um, first thing I, I noticed with this thing, it does have uh, front and rear suspension. It does bounce up and down, which is really cool. It has a pretty cool undercarriage on the bottom of the vehicle. Um, gives you, you know, some protection or whatever if you're, you're playing within your yard or whatever. I don't know. But, yeah, it, it definitely bounces so you can off-road, and it, it has a realistic effect on that. Um, one thing I don't like about the vehicle is these tires, I, I think, are really lame-looking. Um, they're very cheap plastic looking. I think they, they probably should put some rubber tires on this thing. Maybe look a little bit more authentic, but I'm sure you could easily um, customize that. Yeah. You know, go find like some Tonka vehicle or whatever and rip the tires off of them. And um, another cool effect of this vehicle that I liked was the, the working wrench. How you can, um, you know, you can extend it, you know, um, attach you know, somebody to it, like Cobra Commander, and then you can just drag them in. Drag them around. It's like an old yeah. fashioned western movie where they would uh, lasso a dude and drag him around by the back of the horse. Yep. Except in this case, you just have to drive it in reverse. It's yeah. a bunch of stupid rednecks dragging around some corner. Yeah. So it's still pretty accurate. Yeah. Yeah. The tires kind of move. I don't know. They're not the best, but I just play my stuff, so it, yeah. it really, you know, the tires not moving isn't that big of a. Um, bad thing for me um so overall i'd give this a vehicle a nine i think it's, it looks great and um i like i like pretty much everything about it so all right cool um for me what i really like well what's kind of bugging me is the peg holes it's got these really sweet peg holes on the side so that you can get extra dudes to stand on the outside and kind of hold on and shoot their guns at people uh but this is a pursuit of cobra wave figure and the one pursuit of cobra wave the one per Suda Cobra series action figure we got in here, the Duke, none of these peg holes would work. His feet were too big. The holes in his feet were too big for the pegs. Yeah. Which is really weird. Now, we put a 25th anniversary bazooka on there, and it worked fine. So I don't know if it was just the Duke figure or if it's going to be all those Pursuit of Cobra figures. We haven't had a chance to test it out, but I guess we can get back to you. Yeah. So that's kind of a downer. Still pretty cool that you have that option, though. Even mm. if you can't stay on there, you can kind of hold on, so that's cool. And yeah, you then, fit a lot more figures on there. Just with totally. That. Yeah. And then I love the gat, like the guns here, the Gatling gun and this plasma cannon thing and this other machine gun here at the front. <laughs> I think it's a missile launcher actually, I'm sure it's it shoots, a, but it's whatever. A, but it's G.I. Joe that uses lasers. <laughs> yeah. It's a laser launcher, guys. It's Hollywood. Missile rangers, <laughs> lasers. But like this Gatling gun here, it's got a whole stand system and apparatus that it sits on, which is awesome, and you can move it around and it's got, you know, Wild Bill move with, moves with it when you take a look at that. I like the paint apps on it as well. They took the time to put some silver up front. And then the coolest thing I think is that you can move the guns all around. You can switch this guy over here. Now, oh man, he's driving with one hand and, and shooting shoot. with the other. Yeah. Probably how the first clutch died. And now they have to get his twin brother. <laughs> well, that's how I clutch. drive. You know. So you with your gun and your yeah, just you're left handed, so you keep your gun on the right and drive or. Yeah, well, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Well, I figured Switch you up and down. shoot with the left hand so you can put out the window. Exactly. Get your dad out. No, I just don't have a windshield like this. Oh, uh, there just... you go. Oh, yeah. So that's cool. When you can move these like all around, you can move this up front, move that back, or I don't know what the hell you want to do with it, but yep. make some cool shit happen. Bingo. Yeah. 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 Off to Jay. Yeah. Off to me. Yeah. Um, I like on this vehicle itself all the neat little accessories. You got stuff like. Uh, 
fuel packs. I can't even pull this out. <laughs> Full fuel packs. You got some extra ammo here and there. Ammo rounds. The guns. You can move this antenna <coughs> around and put it in the back. So you can kind of set it up for any situation. It's just a little bit more realistic. And I mean, all around, this is a really cool looking vehicle. Yeah, it's like a shovel and yeah, sledgehammer. Yeah, shovel and you know, spare tire. Spare you know, tire, yeah. Exactly. It spins on the back. Just not even like a real spare tire, but whatever. Yeah. And then, yeah, like you guys said, sledgehammer and the shovel back there so you can bash a Cobra agent over the head and bury him. Mm -hmm. So Nobody very cool, know. but lots of detail on this on the vehicle itself. Uh, and then there's also the double clutch f figure that it comes with. We don't know what happened to single clutch. We don't care. But uh, double clutch isn't bad. He, he kind of looks like just a generic Joe. He yeah. looks like probably going to yeah. die. Uh, the only thing I thought that we didn't really like is the helmet on him. It's got a little chin strap and out didn't work very well. It just no. kind of pops off. I didn't realize it, but the, the 25th anniversary bazooka, I think, has the exact same helmet. Yeah, it's, it is. It that is. one seems to be fitting on the bazooka better than the, uh, yeah, I don't the know. double clutch one. So I don't know what it is. If Maybe it's just the beard on double clutch that's making it not fit, but it just the strap doesn't want to hold. Yeah. So that's my only complaint on the double clutch figure. That he just looks really generic. Yeah. But what are you going to do? So um, I think my score on this is a total package, so the vehicle and double clutch, I am going to go with a 7. Okay. Oh. Perfect. All right, so that's the van.